Hey, hi everyone, welcome back to Rad Tech. This video is about radiation safety and awareness program. It is very necessary to know all the safety measures about radiation to work in radiology field. Through this video we are trying to create awareness about radiation safety and protection. In this video we will discuss about ALARA principle which is established to minimize radiation doses for individuals. So let's get into video. ALARA stands for as low as reasonably achievable. ALARA means avoiding exposure to radiation that does not have a direct benefit to you, even if the dose is small. To do this, you can use three basic protective measures in radiation safety, time, distance, and shielding. The ALARA radiation safety principles of time, distance and shielding were established to minimize radiation doses for individuals. The guidelines also limit the release of radioactive materials into the environment which directly applies to today's medical settings to ensure radiation protection. Because physicians within interventional radiology can't leave their patients during treatment, an integrated approach to managing the radiation exposure has become an important factor in the safety of medical professionals. ALARA TDS guidelines apply to all radiological situations that expose personnel to direct and indirect radiation, they should be a routine part of the day-to-day -day work. Make these principles part of your work routine. Time, care should be taken to keep exposure times as short as reasonably possible. Certain staff members can limit their exposure time by leaving the room when possible. Distance, while the physician and assisting nurse often need to stay close to the patient when irradiating, other staff members should try to keep a distance. According to the inverse square law, Doubling the distance will reduce the dose rate to a quarter. Shielding, wearing radiation protection garments is an effective way to reduce radiation exposure. Furthermore, virtually all interventional labs have additional shielding devices such as bedside lead curtains and movable lead glass shields. That's all for this video. Do subscribe our channel to get notification of our new video. We will come back with our next episode of Radiation Safety and Protection Program. Till then stay tuned.